Did you know that technically, there is no such thing as a fish, despite being commonly referred to as a single type of aquatic creature? In reality, each sea creature has unique DNA that differentiates them from one another. As a result, they cannot be classified under one singular term. For instance, a starfish shares more DNA with a giraffe than it does with any other marine creature. This means that the world's oceans are home to a vast array of peculiar and distinct creatures that cannot be neatly categorized. In this video, we will introduce you to some of the most extraordinary fish that can be found in the ocean. Number 7. The Red-Lipped Batfish The red-lipped batfish is a unique species that can only be found in the Galapagos. It is a bottom dweller and can be found on the sandy bottom of reefs or on the ocean floor. The batfish has a light brown body with a grayish back and a white stomach that runs down the back to the tail. There is typically a dark brown stripe made up of brown dots on the upper side, and its snout and horn have a brownish color. However, what makes the red-lipped batfish stand out are its brilliant, almost fluorescent red lips, which give the impression that it is wearing some kind of extremely bright lipstick or has just had a bloody meal. The red-lipped batfish is a carnivore that primarily feeds on tiny fish and crustaceans like shrimp and mollusks. It has an Elysium structure on its head that is believed to be used for enticing prey, and it also has the ability to fly. The batfish's fins are better suited to function as legs rather than for swimming around the bottom in search of food. These legs are used to walk and perch as the creature examines its environment. If the fringe heads were to kiss any fishes, it would definitely be the red-lipped batfish with its juicy fish lips. Number 6. The Goblin Shark And now we're back to the absolutely terrifying fishes that you wouldn't want to poke with a 10-foot pole, let alone kiss on the mouth, which is perhaps the most terrifying and most noticeable physical characteristic of the goblin shark. The rostrum, aka its head, is covered with unique organs that assist these sharks to find food in low-light environments by detecting the electric fields produced by other fish. It's one of the few shark species whose teeth are visible while the mouth is completely closed. Goblin sharks, in other words, can't really fit all of their teeth into their jaws because live goblin sharks are seldom seen and virtually never recorded. Much of what scientists do know about them comes from their inadvertent capture in fisheries aimed at other species. They're said to be active predators that eat a variety of fish squids and pelagic crustaceans, and they resemble something out of an alien movie rather than a shark. While eating internal fertilization is used by goblin sharks to mate and give birth to a limited number of quite big offspring, and despite the fact that they give live birth, these sharks don't actually have a placenta to link them to their offspring. Instead, throughout the gestation stage, the mother most likely feeds her unfertilized eggs to her young. Which they actively consume for nutrition, young goblin sharks are ready to hunt as soon as they're born. Number 5. The Fang Tooth Fish The Fang Tooth Fish has a black color and a terrifying appearance, similar to many other deep sea creatures. Like the anglerfish, it has a large jaw with massive teeth, in fact, the biggest teeth of any fish in proportion to its body size. Their lower jaw's fangs are so massive that specific receptacles on each side of their brain developed to accommodate them. This fish is known to live worldwide and is classified as a benthic fish as it resides in the ocean's benthic zone. The benthic zone is a deep marine area located between 3,300 to 9,800 feet below the surface and is not even close to the ocean's bottom, residing above two other deeper levels. The lack of light hinders the study of these nocturnal creatures. Adult fang tooth fish feed on tiny fish and occasionally larger squid. It is believed that they migrate in a pattern known as diurnal vertical migration, meaning that they feed at night on the surface before returning to the depths before the sun rises. Despite their uniqueness and mysterious nature, research on fang tooth fish remains scarce. Number 4. The Ocean Sunfish has anyone here ever seen the Elephant Man? Well, this fish kind of looks like it has the same disease as John Merrick, and if you don't know this, you should totally look it up because it's amazing. The ocean sunfish, also known as moles, are the heaviest of all bony fish reaching 14 feet vertically and 10 feet horizontally 
and weighing over 5,000 pounds. In the bigger individuals, sharks and rays are cartilist fish. Therefore, they may be very large. An ocean sunfish may get infected with skin parasites to the point that they may attract tiny fish or even birds in order to eat them. In an effort to shake the parasites, they'll even break the surface up to 10 feet in the air and land with a splash. Their awkward swimmers guiding with their clavis and waggling at their enormous dorsal and tail fins in order to move and jellyfish are their preferred diet although they may also consume tiny fish, zooplankton, and algae in large quantities. As for now, they're not dangerous to humans, although they are quite inquisitive little guys and often approach divers. Number three, blobfish. The blobfish is the ugliest fish on the list. It belongs to a family of fish called Fathet scalin, known for their large heads and floppy look. These fish are found in southeastern Australia and Tasmania, dwelling in water just off the ocean bottom. The water pressure at depths of 2,000 feet or more is crushing, more than 60 times that of the surface. Due to this pressure, the blobfish's mostly gelatinous body composition provides it with the perfect amount of buoyancy to float around the seafloor effortlessly. Its diet consists of whatever floats directly in front of it and is small enough to fit into its jaws. The blobfish's body has few hard bones, which is advantageous at the crushing depths where it dwells, as it can avoid being crushed by water pressure. Imagine throwing a water balloon into a pool full of people. That balloon would float around on the pool floor just like the blobfish does on the sea floor. Number two, the yellow boxfish. Yellow boxfish belong to the boxfish family. Imagine that they can be found in reefs all across the Pacific and Indian oceans as well as the Atlantic Ocean's southern reaches and may grow up to 45 centimeters in length. Oh, and guess what? It's box-shaped just as the name implies. It's a brilliant yellow hue. While it's young though, the brilliance does diminish with age and extremely old box. Fishes will be blue, gray, and hue with fading yellow, just like the rest of us. Its diet consists mostly of algae, although it will also eat sponges, crabs, and mollusks. When it's agitated or wounded, it can actually produce a toxic protein from its skin, which may kill any of the fish who are in the area. The brilliant yellow coloring and black dots serve as a warning coloration to any prospective predators. They're lonely creatures, seen as how their breeding takes place in tiny groups of one male and two to four females in the spring. What a lucky guy. Oh, and here's a little fun fact for you. Mercedes-Benz actually debuted the Bionic Concept vehicle in 2006, and it was inspired by the form of a yellow boxfish. Due to the remarkable quickness with which boxfish moved, it's believed that their form was aerodynamic and self-stabilizing. Scientists actually think that the boxfish's agility is due to a combination of aerodynamically unstable body and the way the fish utilizes their fins in order to move. Number one. The psychedelic frogfish. Frogfish are some of the weirdest animals on earth. They lack scales, have various appendages and growths on their bodies, and are often covered in algae. However, the psychedelic frogfish stands out from the rest. This fish has a big flat face, beady blue eyes, and a huge mouth. Most notably, it has a striped white, orange, and tan pattern that allows it to blend in with its surrounding coral. The psychedelic frogfish was first discovered in 2009 in the waters of Indonesia. It also has a small luring appendage on its forehead that mimics a wiggling worm to attract prey. These fish are only observed alive in the seas of Amun and don't grow much larger than 10 centimeters in length. Their remarkable coloration resembles multiple species of coral, providing them with excellent camouflage. The psychedelic frogfish is one of the world's rarest and most elusive fish since it can only be found in one location, the limited regions of Indonesia's Amun and Melaleuca Islands. The importance of preserving the ocean's coral reefs from climate change and human activity cannot be overstated, especially considering the rarity of such amazing angler fish. Seeing so many crazy and beautiful fish is refreshing, right? kind of makes you think about how much of the world that we actually know nothing about. And that's my friend is a lot. Which of these fish did you find most fascinating?
let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.